Molly, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? Good. We just got finished with a little walk. I see she's Florio back there. Yeah, she's a little tired. So, but, um, so I used your new hydrating face mist that you let me try. Okay, awesome. What'd you think? I really like it. Um, it's very light and I, and I'm a big facial mist person. I have one that I use as well. Um, but I like this one as well. I thought of you when I was using it. You just said it was light because we've talked so much about how we don't like heavy, greasy lotions. Yeah, so like for sure. That's definitely like one of my favorite things about it. Besides being able to like put it on over your makeup throughout the day, it's just like really lightweight. So that's nice. Yeah. And I like this one because like after, especially in the winter months, because I thought this would be great for summer, but I liked it because it's been so cold and it's kind of like breezy right now. And so I feel like it's like drying out my face. And so this has been really nice to spray on after a walk. Okay. So what you put in here, you put a little bit of Cole Moist 200, which yep, is Cole Moist the, 200 is the star. It's the star. Should not sugar star. 160. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll have so to get that, Jim to do his own dinging noise for the cold moist now. Right. <laughs> uh, so there's only a uh, 3% in here. I think that's a, a good um, range to do from like one to 3%. We did rinse off studies that had 3% in it and those had really good results. This is a leave on product and one that you can apply multiple times throughout the day. So uh, 3% should be plenty to be effective. And I don't think we've ever had Cole Moist 200 in a spray form. I don't think so. Not one that I can remember. So is this a whole, can you do this whole thing cold process? You can. It, um, I actually put one together after you came up earlier. So that was what, an hour ago? Because I um, stole yours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know. Um, yeah, it goes together really quickly. You can do it cold process. Um, the way we have it now, at least if you changed out the fragrance or um, increase the fragrance load, maybe you would have to have a heating step. But as it is right now, you can do the whole thing cold process. And then we have a little bit of coal lipid C, which is the cocomidal propyl PG dimonium chloride phosphate. Um, so what is that doing in this one? Is it providing a little bit of extra conditioning? Yeah, it, um, I mean, it serves a couple purposes. It is skin conditioning. So, you know, softening and smoothing the skin. Um, but then it also has the antimicrobial properties. So it could possibly help with breakouts. Um, and it also allows us to use less of the preservative because it's boosting the efficacy. So, and this has a little bit of polysugamol C9, which is sorbitane oleate desyl glucoside cross polymer. Is that only uh, solubilizing the lavender oil? Yes, pretty much. Um, so I guess if you wanted to do a fragrance free one, you could take it out. Um, it doesn't hurt to have it in there because it is non irritating to the skin, um, which is nice because, you know, fragrance sensitization is a concern for some. So, um, you know, we have the fragrance in there at a, at a really low level, but then the, the solubilizer that we're using isn't contributing any irritation. You're spraying this on your face multiple times a day. So all of these products are, you know, low irritation and perfectly fine for your skin to leave on. Yes. Um, I think this would be fine on pretty much all skin types, um, very mild ingredients. And I sprayed it on my face and it's not sticky at all afterwards or anything. I really like it. Nice. Yeah. So, and then I do have a question. Mine that I have at home has peppermint oil. And so it leaves like a little bit of tingy sensation. Mm -hmm. Could you do that in this one too? Definitely. Um, I actually tried it with peppermint oil in one round and yeah, you can. Well, I didn't get that version. <laughs> I didn't know you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll put some aside. For okay. You. All right. So here is the prototype. And do you think we could put this on our formulation request sheet? Because this one's pretty easy to make. Definitely. We would have to get some more of the bottles in, I think, but yeah, it's easy enough to make. All right. I'm going to spray it. I already did. I have like a bunch of this on. Ready? Very nice. <laughs> nice. 
No, I like it. Oh, and I like the lavender smell. I didn't smell it previously. I didn't like lavender like for the longest time, but it's really grown on me. So I will spray my face mist on at night if, in case I don't want to use a lotion when I go to sleep. But you have seen people use this in the morning before their moisturizer. Yeah, it's, um, well, I see where other um, like commercial products kind of like this will market it as you can use it as part of your skincare routine where um like you can dampen your face before you put on a moisturizer or a serum so that the okay. product will um, like penetrate your skin better. So this can be a part of your morning routine and then you can also use it throughout the day. Um, yeah, I like the Cola Moist in here as well because it's kind of like hydrating my skin after being outside in the cold. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cola Moist is pretty much like the star ingredient. It's the moisturizer um, a really powerful humectant. So it's attracting and, and holding water in the skin. All right. Um, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else. Oh, so all of the ingredients, the coal moist, the coal lipid C, the poly sugar D9, they come in a, a liquid form. So they're really easy to handle. Um, and then they're really easily water soluble. So we talked about how you could do it cold process. Um, it also just goes together just really quickly. Um, it doesn't take a lot of mixing time. So you're, I, I feel like you're saving energy and time. Oh, cool. Here she is. There you go, girl. She's going to lay back down. We Gloria. walked a little further. Good girl. Cutie. She's ready for a nap. Okay. All right, Molly. Well, thanks for chatting with me. This is formulation number 4045. It is the hydrating face mist, and it is a Colomoist 200 prototype leave-on in a spray form, and it will be available on our website at colonialchem.com slash formulations, and we'll also put this on the prototype request list, so you can try it out for yourself. Thanks, guys. Bye.